Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Mr. Uh, Avery, um, I have a couple questions for you regarding the employer mandate. You know, the, the um, Affordable Care Act, or Obamacare, was put in place March 2010. Is that correct? Yes or no? That is correct. Okay. When was the employer mandate actually put in place? When was the finalization of the, the actual language to what employers would have to adhere to put in place? The language was part of the law that was enacted in So it was in the March. initial part of the law back in 2010. Okay, may I remind you, it is now July 18th, 2013. There have been um, businesses across this country and individuals, American families, who have been dreading this terrible piece of legislation going into place. This is the worst piece of legislation that have ev that's ever affected American families. Now, here we are, July 2nd, week of 4th of July, and we get this message put out that we are now going to delay the, the employer mandate. The employer mandate forcing businesses to have to give insurance and, and, and incur the cost. What was the tipping point at this point when we are so close to the implementation in 2014? What was it? Was it the cost to businesses? Was it the, um, the affordability? Was it the fact that jobs were going to be lost? Was it going to be the hours? What was it that you heard from these associations that, that changed your mind or, or urged you to make this decision? Congresswoman, the associations and the individual what companies What did they say the issue was? The associations and the individual companies said that the issue was twofold. And it was? One, that they needed more time to implement the reporting requirement. Okay. But because their systems needed to be adapted both for collecting. Okay, but this, and so when, when did you start getting this information? When did you start sitting down with these associations? We started sitting down with the associations and individual businesses uh, shortly after enactment of the law. So that was back in 2010? 2010. And you or now, three years later, have made this decision. Okay, well, this is the issue. Do you have a business background? Congresswoman, I've spent more years counseling businesses okay, in the so private you, you sector. Okay, so you are very familiar with business. Time is money. When it costs a business to have to adhere to onerous regulations, that's money. So basically what you're telling me, yes or no, is that it really boils down to the cost and the fact that businesses would have to fire employees. Is that, is that correct? Congresswoman, that's not uh, how the businesses that have expressed these concerns, that the reporting be. So what is going to change in a year? Congresswoman, businesses have asked us if we can simplify or streamline. OK, so you're going to simplify the system. Three years later, knowing the requirements have always been there, now three years later, we're going to simplify. OK, that's fine. That's fine. I, I don't have a problem with that. It, it, it's totally inadequate, but I'll, I'll accept it. Let me move on to the individual uh, mandate. Now, you say that you don't see any problem with individuals being able to report. Congresswoman, the impact of the report Reporting have you just have you asked actually reached out to individuals to get comments to find out what individuals feel about this because I have because I represent 700,000 of them and they are all very concerned about this what what input have you received the administration has worked with many the administration individuals. or okay so in what is your impact so the individuals you're talking to are saying this is just perfect it's wonderful this is the best thing that's ever happened the individuals process for okay navigating. well let, let's just move on because see interestingly enough hhs put out a 606 page rule now saying that, that individuals who are going to the exchanges in the 16 states where they're up and running or will be that they won't have to report any type of um, income uh, verification or employer-based insurance um, to the, to, for these exchanges. Now, why would that happen at the same time? I believe that's not correct, uh, Congresswoman. What is your version, then? And has the Treasury had any input there? 
my understanding from Ms. I Tavener, have two seconds. from Ms. Tavener and from CMS HHS, is that that verification uh, change that they announced in that regulation yes. was much more limited, and in its application. Uh, six, well, 606 pages. However, there's an issue here because there's no time limit on that. We're not just giving someone a year to learn how to report. We're just removing it. Is that not correct? Am I not correct in that? We're just now saying that individuals do not have to report their, their asset verification. Is that not correct? That's not my understanding, Congresswoman. I'm not an expert on the HHS requirements, but that is different from the myths and facts statement that they, that Ms. Tavener or CMS posted. Well, my, my time has expired, but I find it amazingly coincidental. Thank you. Generally, time has expired now.